Good morning, Bigfoot fam. It's uh, it's 8 a.m. and I'm already up and showered and ready to start the day. For me, that's fucking weird, son. I'm usually just getting to bed at like five or six, but the last week I've been really pushing to get on this early bird schedule so that I can just crank out as much as possible in the day and make sure that I get everything that I want to done because the speed of life doesn't wait for anybody and I got lots I want to fucking do with this shit, so. It's going to be a jam-packed day tonight, and we're going to go RC drifting tonight with the boys because uh, replacement parts finally came in. Yes. So if you ended up watching my last RC drifting vlog, my Lamborghini broke down. You remember that it was a bearing that made it so that I couldn't end up drifting that night with my homies. So I had to fucking order that shit from Japan. So paid the extra for express shipping and that one wasn't express shipping at all. So, which is hilarious because my homie Jackson from the club, what up homie? He ordered something on Saturday and ended up getting it like two, three days later. So I think they must like bulk everything together and then wait to ship it all at once when they have a bunch of orders, but then print the shipping label to let people know that it's shipped. Whatever, regardless, they're here and we get to drift tonight. So bearings. Just want to quickly show you this as I'm about to charge my batteries. I just cleaned up my desk space the other day and even though I'm moving out of here in about a month, I set up a proper little charge station for all my batteries for my camera and my RC stuff. And it feels so nice, but it's getting me stoked for the new place. Gonna be able to organize the shit out of that place and have everything just where I need it. Battery charger here for the camera. There's my charger for my RC batteries and charging for me, how I charge myself. I get the whole thing taken apart and the bearings the wrong size. Fuck! So I'm gonna do what I should have done and go for a little drive out to a hobby shop and try to find the bearing. Cause motherfucker wants to slide. I've been waiting forever for this shit. The good thing is I got the diff cups that I need to get my rear, to get my booty in check. Get that diff all fucking fixed up. So yeah, we'll do that. And so begins the great bearing hunt of 2017. Please let me find him. You know, it sure sucks for having waited three weeks to find out that that was the wrong bearing, but I'll take this as a positive, as an excuse to go for a drive on this set. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a decent morning. I'm a sucker for a good drive. All right, I'm gonna quickly grab some fuel for the vehicle and myself. It's early, I need caffeine. So I really need to behave in here today. Every time I come here, I always end up spending over $100 on paint and I'm only here for bearings. Only here for bearings. So I used to come to this place a lot back in the day at its original location that was right up the street for me called RC Pit Stop Time Machine Hobbies and Collectibles. And uh, yeah, that place was where I bought a lot of my original action figures and shit like that. So should be interesting. Also, people around here still look at you funny when you're talking to a camera. It's pretty funny. Okay, I'll grab three, three, and then I'll have replacements. Yeah, uh, just so you know, we always keep a large stock of bolt bearings. That's good to know, so. Yeah, so in case you're ever on like a bearing hunt or whatever, just come <laughs> here, we got so we're pretty stocked up. Awesome. Yeah, today was the great bearing hunt, so. <laughs> I, um. Well, that was a successful but easy hunt. I like those ones. Let's not get ran over by this car here. That'd be a good idea. And yes, this is literally a few days later from when it was covered in snow. Welcome to Canadian weather.
Hey Siri, what song is this? reality sounds scary and not fun I could argue like what's wrong with living your life and then living in a nicer place and we're living in a virtual reality world now that before you critique or judge the generations below you take a look under the hood and really understand it thing you know balance is great um, but I also think you have to understand so many variables and I think that therapists if you look at the history of the feedback of because therapists are collectively poor at predicting what happens next, as are most people. I'm a workaholic. Monday through Friday, I barely see my family. That's just true. Five thirty seems to kind of be the average time that everything goes live. So, throwing on the belugas because I've got multiple things on weight right now. So, wish me luck, everyone. I fucking need it. So here's what we're working with today: two browsers, four phones, two browsers, iPad. This guy wants to catch him a zebra. Well, we just took another W. Not in my size again, but we got a size seven. So we'll either end up selling it and end up copying the size needed, or hopefully we can find somebody for a size swap. That would be sick as fuck. But uh, yeah, took many devices this time. Many devices. <laughs> Madness. <laughs> So I'm just a little bummed that I didn't get zebras in my size. Well, I'm gonna be honest, a lot of bummed. A lot of bit bummed that I didn't get zebras in my size. So anybody out there wants to size swap a size 13 or 14 for a size seven? Help out Bigfoot? Let me know. I'll hook you up with a shirt or a little piece of merch or something, or you know, a little something something for helping me out. Won't be the end of the world if I have to resell this pair as uh, I'm not usually a reseller, but in this case, getting a new couch and TV and a few other things for the new place. I can't really complain about that, so. And I totally forgot to mention, I copped the Aniki Boost, not only for myself, but for my mom. Cause I saw the mint Anikis and I was just like, fuck, fuego. Those needed to be copped and I, there's no women sizing that would dare fit my feet. So I was like, mom, yeah, gotta boost mom. Mom deserves it. So don't forget about your moms out there everybody that's watching because they took care of you and uh, do a little something for them. I want to see some of y'all boosting your mom. Let me know if you guys do it all and tag me in them photos because I want to see that shit. I got the red Anikis coming for myself, mint Anikis coming for my mom. Anikis should be here tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, the red ones at least for myself. I'm not sure when the mints will be here and the zebras will be here on Friday. So we'll get to take a look at those and I'll at least be able to do a review and stuff, which will be fucking sick. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I got going on on my front as far as stuff coming in. Trying to keep it low key for a little bit here and 
Adidas has always been shafting Canada on some of the major releases, so we didn't get the triple blacks. We didn't get a whole bunch of other stuff that just recently came out, but whatever. You start to learn to accept the L living in Canada. So I just want to say thank you as always for watching today's video. Uh, I really enjoy doing these and uh, I know there's been a bit more days in between the vlogs as of late, but I've just been ex extremely busy catching up on work, trying to get everything moving towards the next step so that I can, you know, even have some more time for this kind of stuff. But if you did like the video, make sure to hit that like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't. We just broke 500, so I'm just putting together all the details on uh, a clothing giveaway right now. So I just wanna make sure I have all the things figured out so I can make sure I can do it properly because YouTube has specific guidelines and I just wanna make sure that it's all fair and that everybody gets what they deserve. So thank you guys as always and hope you guys find your passion, create dreams, and let's get it.